What is up YouTube? In this video, let's compare both the fields of data engineering and data science. So this video is for someone who is looking into transitioning into the field of data and looking for a career in data and probably is confused which one to pick. So to understand the differences between the two fields, let's kind of take a step back and let's look at how the data has been generated and used in an organization. So let's look at this from an organization level, how the cycle of data kind of works, right? So yeah, let's try to look at an example. Maybe for example, let's start with the drinks joint like Starbucks. Let's look at it from that perspective. So they have more than 100 stores across the globe. Starbucks may have a lot more stores, right? So, so the way uh, the data cycle kind of works for these organizations is they have different systems in place. So for example, they have a post system like um, point of sale system where a customer comes in by, by something it gets registered, uh, gets paid out and whatnot, right? So that's like a POS system. They probably have a referral system, like Starbucks probably has an app, which is like a referral app or a, a CRM app, right? To maintain relationship. So those kind of things, they have multiple systems in place. Uh, in that kind of settings, the data is being generated, especially in, in a structured format. So you can see, uh, a few examples of the tables in here. So we have a list of people who are kind of purchasing different things from a PO system. We have other people who are purchasing drinks from the coffee giant Starbucks um, through the app, through a referral program. So, so all of these systems are kind of generating structured data as they go. So this data, if you see, is coming from applications. So, so basically, these applications are usually built by software engineer. Probably a uh, company like Starbucks have a QR code or a, like a form to fill as a feedback form. So these kind of stuffs are being generated. So it's just not only one thing or, or a, one entity being generated, but multiple things, right? All right, so now the data is being generated. Executives or people within the company can try to use this data to understand trends or analyze this data to get more insights, right? So probably they have questions like, what is the best performance store? What's the best performing Starbucks store within the Asia region, for example, or within the India region, for example, right? So maybe they want also wanna drill down into a particular city, like maybe the best Starbucks stores uh, by profit uh, within Delhi, something like that, or maybe like in Singapore. So these kind of questions come in. Uh, they have probably have uh, other questions is, what promotion should they plan for their holiday season? Which countries to target during Christmas? All these questions can be answered uh, if the right data is in the right place. So that's the key idea in terms of a data cycle for any company. In the diagrams, you can see how the data is being generated through applications. Usually an application engineer or software engineer works on these kind of products or services that generates data into these databases or OLTP databases, right? So uh, for analytics, you can basically hop onto each one of these databases one by one maybe and um, query using SQL, get the data out probably in uh, Excel and like try to analyze it, crunch numbers, clean data and whatnot, right? A few issues with this is it's quite slow because then you need to go to multiple uh, databases, try to access data. Also, it can affect the databases are being used. If the query is complex enough, it can basically put load on the existing database systems which can create problems with the end users who are using this system. So these are like mission critical system that are being in front of people, right? So you don't want to spoil that. So this kind of stuff uh, usually is taken out. And uh, usually the way it's taken out is, is using ETL pipelines. And that's the role of a data engineer to kind of bring in the ETL pipeline in place. A data engineer is also a software engineer, but uh, a subfield of software engineering, if you think about it. So an engineer who basically deals with data. So a lot of the main of the one of the main roles for data engineers to kind of build pipelines and gather all this all this data in different systems and bring it into a single place. Usually it's a data warehouse. In the past it was a data warehouse, but lately there are more technologies such as data lakes, uh, data lake house. Uh, let's not discuss about that, but usually it's a center place. Uh, let's call it a warehouse, right? So that's what the role of a data engineer is. This kind of base role is to get the data, also transform, clean, and like have the right columns in place. So yeah, this is kind of the main role of a data engineer to bring in the data. The scope of work involves connecting into the source systems, like figuring out your way through source systems, um, through firewalls and whatnot, right? And pipe it into like a warehouse. It also involves um, understanding of the data, business transformation, business logic, knowledge around data quality. So yeah, this is the kind of role a data engineer usually plays within an organization. Uh, there are extent, there are other extent to it, such as um, a feature engineer, which is also a data engineer, which 
basically focuses on having the right columns and the right features based on the business business domain knowledge so you need, they need a lot of like business domain knowledge to kind of transform the data that can be directly used by data scientists so that's one part of it another is like big data engineer so all of this system can become really complex if the data is huge and if the data is being like generated a lot uh, if it's in like terabytes of data, uh, it needs to be managed properly, right? So uh, you need to use the right tech in that case. Most of the technology that a data engineer deals with is like Python uh, in terms of like building pipelines and stuff. A lot of SQL, a lot of database management systems, DBMS. Uh, so a lot of SQL, a lot of Python is kind of in the picture. Uh, a lot of knowledge on how to create tables, schemas, make it efficient, indexing and whatnot, right? That's very important. As a big data engineer, you need to know like frameworks such as Spark, PySpark to kind of uh, use the power of distributed computing on Hadoop. So you need to know about Hadoop or like maybe equivalent uh, cluster tech, right? Such as EMR and whatnot. This can be done in cloud, but let's not go in there. But essentially a big data engineer is like handling massive data, right? The other things such as streaming data is into a place. So streaming data engineer would be focusing on like data coming in streaming pipelines, like which is more real time, like through Kafka, uh, buses right so something like that so there are different aspects to it but the essential goal is to kind of put the data in the right place that's what data engineer focus on this data warehouse or center place lays the foundation of analytical workloads because now all the data from different places are in a single place you can basically do easy joins or maybe the data is already denormalized based on uh, the requirements right all right so yes so now that we know data engineers basically lay up the foundation of all the data that can be analyzed right so that's the role of data engineer next comes into picture is basically data scientists but before we go on to the compare data scientists and data engineers let's quickly do a small brief on what data Data analysts do, right? So there's also a difference between data analysts and uh, data scientists, right? So data analysts are basically make it mainly focusing on the direct insights from the data, the questions that were kind of raised earlier, right? Which is the best performing country, uh, stuff like that. So these questions are usually answered by data analysts. They SQL over the data. They kind of usually uh, give insights in terms of dashboards or maybe like reports and whatnot. So that's the role of uh, data analysts in between. Uh, data scientists sometimes also do that job. But data scientists' key area is kind of around stats and probability and do predictive analytics in a way that you use existing data, which is already there to kind of predict the future, right? Uh, in a way to do that, they usually create machine learning models or data science models, right? That's what they call it. They, uh, they also work with a lot of Python pandas to kind of look into data sets. They also work with SQL. And for building models, there are different libraries around it, such as NumPy, uh, scikit-learn. Uh, there is uh, a bit more better, a uh, bigger, bigger framework such as like PyTorch and TensorFlow. So uh, it depends on like what kind of data science work they are interested in. So there are also like subfields of uh, data science is like sometimes they work in computer vision, basically looking into photos. Sometimes it's like only text, so generative AI, NLP, and whatnot, right? But the goal is of data scientists is, is to kind of use existing data to solve prediction problems. That's the key area, I would say. So in terms of tech stack, they work with Python, they work with SQL, they are work with Pandas a lot because they're used to researching into data. In terms of skill set, they need to have a lot of probability knowledge, statistical knowledge around data. They need to know like how regression works, building regression models and whatnot. So it all, all comes from like statistics and probability. So now let's try to quickly look into key differences uh, for both data scientists and data engineers, right? So yeah, so so the first difference I can see is um, data engineers a lot work a lot with like warehousing, table building, data modeling. So getting the right tables in a place in a central warehouse, that's the key role. On the contrary, data scientists work with a lot of research on the data, statistical analysis of the data. So the, their focus is more R&D and seeing which columns can be used for a machine learning model, which can help help with like improving the efficiency of a model, something like that. So they, they are very well versed with statistics in the first place. So next would be like in terms of technology, uh, data engineers do work with Python SQL, but they also work with like building um, uh, pipelines, ETL pipelines using like maybe like Airflow or any other tool uh, similar to that. Uh, whereas uh, uh, data scientists in terms of technology, they work with Python SQL, which is similar. Uh, but they also work with like statistical analysis libraries such as like NumPy, uh, Scikit-learn, machine learning libraries such as PyTorch, right? So there are many more to it like um, NLT, NLTK libraries, something around that if, if that's the field of focus. Uh, data engineers work usually try to build something in Python files, make it uh, so that it's more, more much more streamlined because it's more like a regular work rest, uh, compared to the research work. On the contrary, they work in usually to Python notebooks, like in terms of uh, they have a notebook to do the analysis on because it's more like a research based work. Data engineers also work with big data tech such as Spark and Hadoop and whatnot. That's the key focus area because uh, of a big data engineer, right? Uh, coding practices in terms of uh, 
uh the scope is for data engineers it's usually the scope to build like productionized code much more cleaner code because they they are trying to run uh, etl jobs for production for scale so the key idea is to have like the right best practices in place make things much more efficient as they can especially in the case of big data uh, on the other side of the page is data scientists because they are usually working as, as researchers. They are trying to research on the data, so they pick up smaller sets of data, run some ad hoc analysis. So it's more about looking into the data than productionizing. So that's the key area of the focus. And then there's one one key difference is like data engineers are much well versed with uh, using cloud services to kind of pro productionize their code. So they are very well versed cloud tech uh, to help them scale because cloud has the capacity of running things. All uh, right. Uh, and on the contrary, data scientists are they they have the knowledge of the crowd, but very specific to like machine learning use cases or like services that just help them like build models, right? So that's the key focus area. Yeah, as a quick comparison, we can we can have this table in place, so we can look into like data engineering. They work around data modeling and warehousing, basically building tables in the right columns. They also deal with like big data, Hadoop, Kafka, Spark, something like that. A lot of times they deal with like SQL and NoSQL databases, but a lot of the times it's like SQL because it's re relational database everywhere. They also work with ETL tools and pipelines such as Airflow. They sometimes work with deployments uh, like CI/CD if, if the team is small, right? Uh, and then the key language for them is like Python or like Java mainly. Uh, on the other hand, data scientists deal with stats, uh, a lot of statistics and probability to they kind of. They, they kind of solve prediction problems, kind of solve regression problems, prediction problems and whatnot, right? So they will also work with a lot of Python. They also used to R and SQL, and they also work with a lot of like Jupyter notebooks uh, and Tableau for visualization, or maybe just like graphical libraries within Python. They do a lot of cleaning and exploration, and then they use this data to build machine learning models on top of it. So that's the key role. So yeah, that's about it in terms of differences. Now we have seen the key differences, right? Uh, uh, but then there's more to it, right? It's not always about the difference. So they, both data engineers, data scientists, and even data analysts are like part of the bigger picture of a company, right? So usually, they, like, and even in, in my experience, usually data scientists and data engineers like work together. They usually work together to kind of uh, uh, solve the company's problems. So data engineer is like, uh, helping with the data warehousing part and whereas data scientists pick up that data. So there is a lot of back and forth and there's a lot of like communications in communication in terms of like what data data scientists needs uh, and um, what data engineers can provide. So that's about it in terms of uh, this topic. Uh, I hope this video was helpful in terms of laying out the differences between these two career options, right? I hope it helps you decide, right? Uh, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up uh, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, it really helps me a lot to push my content to people like you. I'm trying to focus pushing out more content uh, online, which I haven't done in the past, but I'm looking forward to kind of make weekly content online in the future. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.